Now, Beijing and Washington are e see, see each other as a bit of a threat in the Pacific, but given the sheer size of the Pacific Ocean and all the rising tensions, there could be a situation when things could go out of hand. So it's better to be ready than to be caught off guard. Now, the Pentagon appears to be working to increase the range of its frontline ammunitions. Moreover, China, remember, boasts of the largest naval presence in the world. So this certainly means that more preparations will be needed for the Americans to take on China in case hostilities break out. The sources say that the Congress is now pushing for expanding the range of some of its weapons by as much as about 20 percent. And this could be done using powerful propellants and also lighter warheads. Now, to this effect, the U.S. Senate has now tabled a bill last week allocating at least about $13 million to manufacture certain chemical compounds. The U.S. Senate could also establish an office for energetic materials within the Department of Defense. The office will be a coordinating body across the Army, Navy and the Air Force. If sources are to be believed, then the new chemicals will be used in Lockheed Martin-made long-range anti-ship missiles and also the extended range air-to-surface missiles. Other candidates could be Harpoon anti-ship missiles made by Boeing and Javelin anti-tank weapons made by Lockheed and RTX. Now, will there be this mad arms race that has now been triggered? Will, there, will, will these lethal and deadlier weapons lead us to one is, is something that is up for speculation. But what is quite clear is that the United States feels threatened in the Pacific. And we can expect the rivalry between China and the United States to, of course, continue to get more intense.